Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to use the REST API to access Azure AI document services to take an, a document in JPEG format and process that and return the fields that it finds using OCR within that document. Basically what we're going to do is use our existing Azure AI uh, service that has document services available. We're going to grab the key. I'm going to go, I'm going to use Rapid API's front end tool, but you could use Postman instead. Um, and I'm going to show you how to walk through building the request, um, making the request, and then reading the results at the end. So let's get into that. Uh, first, you're going to need to have an Azure AI Services uh, account. I'm using a multi-service account. You could make one that you know, only does um, uh, document intelligence, but uh, the account that I created, or the service I created, can do anything with the same key. Um, so I'm going to need the key. So um, I need the endpoint. I need the key. So I'm going to copy that key to the clipboard. So, so I, I've got that at the ready. And let me show you what document we're going to read. So this is a, a fake uh, W-2 form. Uh, this is what, uh, in the U.S., this is what we get from employers that tells us how much uh, uh, income they recorded that we made and um, how much uh, withholding was done and so on. This is completely fake data, so don't worry. This isn't anybody's actual form. So what we need to do to submit this to Azure, though, or to Azure AI is, is to... Uh, pull this into a base64 encoded file. So that that is a stumbling block for some people I know and and how to make the JSON payload uh, work uh, correctly is um, you know maybe not perfectly documented or the examples aren't really there. So I wanted to provide an example that was really easy to consume. So let's go ahead and do this. So the first thing I'm going to do is bring up my client, which in this case I'm going to use Rapid API, which is a free API testing tool. It's very much like Postman. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and uh, create a couple requests. So the first request is going to be a post request, and this is going to be uh, make uh, document request or send document. I'll, I'll call that send document. And so that's going to upload the document to Azure AI. And Azure AI is going to work on this kind of in a batch mode, um, and we can go back and re request the output, uh, but it won't be immediately available. So we have another one, and this is going to be a get output. That's going to be a get request. And a send request. Okay. Okay. So the first the first request is to actually request a that a document be analyzed. This is the most complicated one. So let's do this one first. So this is the the endpoint of my service within Azure, and then form recognizer that tells it what service I want to access because this this API can access just about anything. It could be language or or vision and so on. So I say I want a form rec recognizer. I want it to use this document model called prebuilt tax. Uh, USW2. Uh, this is some. This is a model that uh, Microsoft created for us that we can just use. Um, if they didn't have a model that we could use, we could train our own model, and it would have some specific string to us. And then analyzes the command. So it says, "I want you to analyze a document." There are a few things we need here. So when we send this, we need to have a subscription key. So let's we go into the headers. Um, this is where we put our key. And now that I've corrupted my clipboard, let me go here and get the key. And I'm going to mask this out so you don't see my key, but that's where the key goes. And then the next thing we're going to need is um, to tell it the content type. So uh, we're going to be sending a file, but it has to be you encoded and put into a JSON object. So the content type is actually going to be JSON. So you know, don't put in like content type PDF or JPEG or JPEG or anything like that. It's it is a, it is a JSON. Uh, payload that we're going to be sending. So that looks good. Um, URL parameters. Let's see, we have a couple of those we need to do. So we need to tell Azure which API version we're, we're actually going to send. Um, I'm just going to use, you know, this API. It, this API hasn't changed that much, but um, uh, I'm going to use the 2022-0831 API version. Um, as breaking changes go into the API, you need to update that so that you use the latest one. And then for the body, let me go get the stub for that. The body is going to look kind of like this. And I'm, I'm going to do this in text, but it's actually JSON. So we're going to send the base64 version of whatever file we're going to send. So if we look at that file, it looks like this, okay? So we can't send digital bytes in a JSON. We've got to encode that in some way. Um, so if I look at the file I'm gonna send and, and I look at it and it's a W2, um, yeah, that is definitely not gonna go into a JSON object. So what we need to do with that instead 
is um, is turn that into a base64 string on a Mac um, I can use OpenSSL to do this there are like web tools to do this and you can you know do it in your own code um, but uh, OpenSSL will do this for us and see the input file is going to be uh, w2 whatever that was and the output file is going to be I'll call this base64 text next okay so now if we look at that file you know that's just ASCII characters so that's that's what we want and then um, I'm going to just put this into my clipboard which on a Mac I can do this 64 dot text so um, right here you can't see that very well let me as a PB copy just means copy to the clipboard or pasteboard they call it in, in Apple terms um, base 64 text so that's gonna put that text file into my clipboard so I can paste it somewhere so I'll go back to my request I'm gonna paste that here and that looks good looks like my string ends let me put that there so that it's nice and clean and then if I go to the top okay that looks good so in your application of course you would do this differently you just com com combine this into a string but here in the test tool we can do it this way that should be the last thing that we need and if we look down below, we can see the structure of the request. So it's a post to that endpoint. It's got the version. It's got the key. It's got the content type. That's good. Actually, I'm not going to mask the key. I'm just going to rotate it after the video. So that'll be fine. All right. So let's go and go ahead and run this. Um, so let's post. All right. And so we got a 202. So it's accepted. That's great. Um, and then what we need to know, what we're going to need is this request ID right here. So, so Azure in the background, it's kind of working on this or it's in the queue to be worked on. And when it's done, we can request the results using this request ID. So that's going to be our get statement here. So let's go ahead and structure that while we're waiting. So this is going to be a, a get. It's going to start actually with almost the same URL. So we'll leave the analyze. That's the post command. So let's just copy the get that paste that into the get we are still going to need like some of the headers so we still need to have the API key we don't need the content type because it's a get so let's go ahead and add the header though and that's gonna be I can't remember the whole thing so there we go get that out of memory and there's the key and then we're gonna have some URL parameters to specify the API version. So let's go ahead and get that. So let's put that in here. URL parameter, API version. And it's again gonna be, we'll use the same API version. Okay, and then we just need to add to the get string what the request was. So here's the request. Let's copy that from here. Results, and then slash the request. And that should all be right. So let's try it. Hopefully we got it all. Oh, not quite. Let me see. I actually do have one missing piece. Analyze results, right? I think that's right. Let's run that again. Okay, now we have results. So now if we open that up, we have, here's our results. Um, and we can see what the JSON is for all of this. And let's see, let's see if we can find the person's name. Oh, that's the that's the employer. Where's the employee name? So it's supposed to be Joseph Miller. Let's see if that's actually what we sent. Joseph Miller. Yeah. Okay. So that all worked. So that's really all there is to it. So it's just a, a post followed by a get. And the key is the dot an the analyze goes here. The hardest part is probably getting the payload structured and getting things into uh, base 64 strings but once you've got that um, submitting it is pretty easy you get the request ID use the request ID to get the results now you've got JSON so if we look at the JSON text it might be kind of looks like that and then you can parse this however you want and whatever model you use whether you create your own or use a pre-built one you know the response is going to be JSON uh, in a pretty much a predefined format so that's all there is to it um, hope that was interesting or at least you learned something I'll see you next time